of using the online course Creative Thinking through learning elementary maths in the mathematics teacher training system. As noted in the Professional Standard Teacher of General Secondary Education and Standards for Preparing Teachers of Mathematics, developed by the Association of Mathematics Teacher Educators, creativity is an important component of the professional competence of a mathematics teacher. The formation and development of all the key personality qualities of a would-be mathematics teacher take place in the process of studying professional disciplines, which are divided into normative and variable. Elementary mathematics is one of the key normative disciplines for the training of would-be mathematics teachers. The goal of studying the discipline is the formation of skills and abilities of would-be teachers to creatively use the acquired skills in practical activities. In modern conditions of education development, online courses are becoming more and more widespread as a form of distance organization or a component of mixed learning. The purpose of the article is to present the method of using the online course Creative Thinking through learning elementary maths as a component of the study of elementary mathematics and to confirm the effectiveness of the implementation of this course in the process of training would-be mathematics teachers. Method of using an online course in the process of studying elementary mathematics provides three options for combining an online course and learning elementary mathematics. Students who studied the course of elementary mathematics during classroom training or blended learning simultaneously studied the online course Creative Thinking through learning elementary maths. If necessary, in addition to online consultations on the platform Higher School Mathematics Teacher, offline consultations were received. Students used the online course as a platform to support flipped learning. That is, they familiarized themselves with the material of the lectures and performed practical tasks presented on the online course platform. Most of the practical tasks were presented and discussed by the students during the study of elementary mathematics. Depending on the epidemiological situation, the discussion took place in an online format or an offline format, in the audience. This group of students worked with the online course during the semester they were finishing their elementary math course. Students used online course materials as part of flipped learning, lecture sessions. Students received practical tasks as part of studying elementary mathematics and reported in the online or offline format during classes or consultations. The third option differed from the second one in that students used the online course platform to get answers to questions related to both online course learning and elementary mathematics learning in general. According to the first option, Students started their studies in the online course at any convenient time for them during the last semester in which elementary mathematics was studied. Students worked through the online course at their own pace. The only requirement was to complete the online course three weeks before the test, exam, in elementary mathematics. The total estimated time of working on the course is 24 hours. The second option provided that students who worked with the online course were instructed to process the materials of six lecture classes by a specific deadline. For example, students had to familiarize themselves with the first lecture on creative thinking and its structure before the first semester colloquium. During the colloquium or, in its absence, at the final class of a certain content module, a short discussion was held based on the lecture material, the teacher answered the questions that arose from the students. For example, the question of the interdependence of creative abilities and creative thinking caused a lively discussion. After working through the theoretical classes, the students completed the relevant practical tasks posted on the online course platform and presented them at the practical classes. Practical tasks were focused on the following activities from the rich task, recognition, classification, solving, and creation. For example, students performing practical tasks before the second class analyzed the tasks proposed by the developers of the online course and substantiated whether they belong to the rich task. In the same session, students presented their examples of tasks that, in their opinion, belong to the rich task. We will give two examples of tasks proposed by students. Students who worked with the online course in the third option worked with lecture tasks in a similar mode to the second group. At the same time, they received practical tasks from teachers. Depending on the mode of study of the university, 
students presented the performance of tasks and participated in the discussion either remotely or in the classroom. For example, with the third lecture on the topic Open Tasks in Elementary Mathematics, students were introduced to the second semester colloquium or before the end of half of the content modules of the elementary mathematics course this semester. Examples of practical tasks aimed at completing particular types of activity with rich tasks in slide. The effectiveness of the implementation of the online course in the mathematics teacher training system was tested in February-December 2021. At the end of the experiment, the students also passed elementary mathematics tests, which consisted equally of traditional and rich tasks. To make sure that the existing difference between the results of the tests in control and experimental groups is statistically significant, Fisher's statistical test was used. The analysis of resources and research papers confirmed the relevance of using online courses in the mathematics teacher training system. One of the possible options for such use is the combination of studying elementary mathematics and the online course creative thinking through learning elementary maths. Such a combination, depending on the number of credits assigned to the study of elementary mathematics at the university, should be carried out in three options. We see further prospects in the development of methods of using online courses, focused on the formation of mathematical competencies and the development of creative thinking of students based on activities with rich tax in higher mathematics and mathematics in high school.